Hey there, ho there, hi there, whatever there. I have no freaking idea. Today, boys and girls, I am freaking tired. Got up at 5 o'clock this morning because my husband had to be dropped off at one of our local parks. He is doing security for a event that is going on at one of the parks and he had to be there bright and early. The park opened up at 5 and he had to be there by 6 or 6.30 the latest so he can help set up and do security. It's a really beautiful park. We found a nature trail that we tried out for the first time and I liked it. Um, there's a hard trail and a harder trail and then there's an easier trail and I'm going to tell you, I found some things that I've, I mean, I've seen wild mushrooms before, but these mushrooms, whoo, they were the things I've never seen before. I looked them up on my phone and go to find out that they were edible. So I had no clue. And then I saw some flowers and stuff that I never seen before. I don't know. I love nature walks and we didn't do it very much in the summer because of the fact that it, it was so gosh darn hot here and you know now we're in the icky yucky rainy season actually the sun is trying to pop up from the clouds there because we have had rain all day yesterday and into today. And it's in the 60s. Well, they say it's in the 60s, but I don't know. It feels in between. But anyways, like I said, I've been up since 5 and I am freaking tired. I didn't go to bed until almost 1. So, yes, boys and girls. Sally doesn't go to bed until we early in the morning sometimes. And I'm freaking tired. But anyways, I went off to... Another pickup, pick up and go is what I call it, um, from Walmart. And I did not buy any meat this pick up and go time because I bought some, not very much, um, some last night. And then I also had to pick up my prescriptions. I was supposed to pick them up last night, and Sally was on the computer until late last night doing my grocery haul. So I just now walked into the door with it, and yeah. So um, we're going to get into it. I kind of lost train of thought there. My dog is lying down in her favorite spot on the floor under the table. As long as she's with me or my husband, I know my hair looks like crap. I really don't care. Like I said, I'm freaking tired. All right. Twin pack, twin pool pack of 36 count of eggs. We go through eggs like crazy. I've been experimenting with my bread machine again. I burnt two loaves of bread and I'm not very happy about it. Okay. I bought great value mushroom pieces and stems. And I believe I got six cans of that. I found, I cleaned off one of my cupboards and I found, or my shelves. And in the midst of everything, I found a slow cooker cookbook. And I found a, well, my taste of home cookbook and I found a couple recipes 
that I want to do. And I also have my... Oh, everything is going to fall. Because we've been rearranging things and my cookbooks fell yesterday. And I found my classic recipe collection. And so I'm going to be making a couple of recipes out of there and out of my all new slow cooker easy home cooking cookbook. I found a couple of recipes in there that I want to make and some of them call for mushrooms. So this is a four ounce can and I believe like I said I got okay. Uh, six cans of mushrooms so and besides I love mushrooms and never can have enough cans of mushrooms so that's gonna be that then one of the recipes called for two cans of cream of potato soup so I got the uh, great value uh, potato soup and yes I can hear y'all in the background saying are you going to record your recipes I will try I will definitely try then I needed some dill weed for one of the recipes and this is organic great value uh, 8.6 ounce little jar and I believe this was like two dollars and some odd cents I cannot remember so don't ask and then organic great value Sorrancho. I was running out I usually buy the big old container and then the organic crushed rosemary another recipe that needed some of that and I thought this was bigger but my bad it's not and more Morton sea salt the fine so I need a bigger one but I thought it was gonna be the bigger one so uh-huh So that didn't turn out as well. Then I bought eight cans of no salt added diced tomatoes. I just did, you know, I bought those uh, towards, uh, what are they called? Rotel. I bought the Rotel no salt added and they have the peppers in them, you know. Well, I needed just regular diced um tomatoes no salt added uh filled to the can within five hours it says so plain diced tomatoes and i bought eight cans of those so i will have enough for a couple recipes i made some uh, salsa not too long ago and I used canned tomatoes and it turned out really good so we have those so we'll just put all these up when I get a chance yeah it says that Reddy has five milligrams or 15 milligrams of sodium so and I don't know how this got there but anyways then I also needed some milk for a couple of recipes and we, I'm sorry to say, we don't drink milk very often, but you know, when you're making potatoes or whatnot, um, I get the whole milk lactose free because of the fact that I know that my husband will drink a glass or two of it if I'm done with it. So I bought the fair life lactose free milk because I am not completely lactose intolerant but when it comes to milk and yogurt and stuff 
I do have a hard time with it. Then, of course, for another recipe, I bought some great value half and half. Plus, it's good for a creamer. So, I bought that. And we're having tacos tonight and another recipe calls for sour cream. So I bought a 24 ounce of great value sour cream. Now, I did a experiment earlier in the week with lemon juice. I made some lemon chicken soup and with the bottled lemon juice, not as good as the first time I made um, lemon chicken, well, lemon chicken rice soup. It's actually a Greek recipe. Um... It wasn't as good, so I bought six, I believe he said there were six or seven, I did have a pound, and so these had to add up to a pound of lemons, so I got about a pound of lemons for a lemon rice soup. We're just going to have to be made with brown rice instead of white. Then I got a thing of Carnival Treat White Seamless Grapes. Never had them before, and so I thought I'd give them a shot. I am a fruit person. Then I got some Great Value Parsley Flakes. And this is usually the size of my Sarancho that I get, but they didn't have any at Walmart. So, okay. Then I got some Milk Chocolate Chips. Coming that season, y'all. Milk Chocolate Chips. And then I got the semi-sweet chocolate chips. And this time I made sure that they weren't the mini. And I also got some chopped walnuts. Only an 8-ounce bag because I don't bake that often. And when I do, it's like very solemn. So we're going to keep that in the bay and then we'll slide my little grocery carrier over and I had to stop off at another grocery store because they didn't have some of the things that I wanted so but anyways Walmart didn't have it so I got some celery from Green Giant for a recipe and I've been craving cucumbers, so I like the English cucumbers, so I got that. Oh, and by the way, if this cuts out because I run out of space or time or whatever on my phone, I will try to write down in the prescription below what happened and what, when is the next time I will, um, do a video or whatnot. So I have two English cucumbers. And then, believe it or not, organic whole carrots were cheaper. They were 98 cents for this little bag. And that's all I really need. I don't need a huge bag of them. They were 98 cents for this little organic bag of, and just to say, what size they are. I don't know how many ounces this is. Oh, wait. It is 16 ounces, so 98 cents. Go figure. Then, I do know that one of the soups that I am making is beer cheddar soup, and it called for sharp cheddar, 
And I don't know how much, and so I bought two packs of the Sharp Cheddar, which was $1.18 a pack. Then I got some whole mushrooms, and I could just chop them up myself. And this bag is from a different store. And then we got some classic olive oil, a 51 ounce bottle. I went through the other olive oil very, very quickly, so. And then we got some organic grape tomato. Uh, cherry tomatoes. I've been craving some of those. My back is really starting to hurt, so I'm trying to. Then I got some Lipman's Family Farms Farm Fresh Premium Tomatoes, a three pack. Here for our tacos tonight. And then, Sonia, y'all, I was disappointed. I didn't realize how small these were. I guess when I saw them, I got excited and said, woohoo. But we tried out the everyday, um, like the Dixie plates. We tried them out. We liked them. And so I thought, all right, well, I'll get some. Well, it says they're strong. It says they're soap proof. You can put them in the microwave. They're not going to curl up and make a little bowl. I bought the great value eight and a half inch plates for six or seven dollars, six dollars and ninety something cents. They're not the right size. I thought they were going to be a little bigger, but. 170 plates. Here we go. That was what I bought. That's what I'm getting. That was me just dropping the plates on the floor. And then, of course, a lot of the recipes that I um, am making called for chicken broth and beef broth. So I got three cartons of unsalted chicken broth and two cartons of unsalted beef broth which yes there is still sodium in there but it's not as much as only 75 milligrams not as much as 500 milligrams I was happy with that and I like to control how much sodium I put into my recipes. Then, earlier, right before I came home, I stopped off at my local grocery store, which is called Cash Saver. And I only bought a small amount of things. Walmart didn't have the double pack of zucchini and so I went and bought a three pack of zucchini for a dollar seventy excuse me dollar seventy five again for a recipe Woo. then I bought a small bag of shredded lettuce for tacos tonight for the three of us to have tacos so that will last us it's eight ounces. This was a dollar forty-four at my local discount store. And then this was seventy-nine cents for a small head of cabbage. It was on the uh, discount reduced produce 
aisle and I saw it and I'm constantly wanting cabbage and so dream come true. Then I love Mrs. Dash salt free taco seasonings. And I'll go through two packages tonight, maybe one and a half, I don't know. But I believe they were, let me see. Yeah, they were 99 cents and all three were $2.97. So I bought three packs of Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash have, has Mrs. Dash meatloaf and Mrs. Dash chili and i think nope that's it it's a mrs dash taco chili and meatloaf uh salt free and if you see right here on the back it literally is sodium free so yeah because i'm making three pounds about three, three and a half pounds of tacos tonight for all three of us. I have, I don't normally have tortillas, but I will have like one or two hard shells and then it'll be um, okay with me. And on a different note, because I guess I am sort of gloating and sort of, you know, just saying, hey. Uh, when I went to the doctor yesterday, I went to my heart doctor and we're still working on getting my blood pressure to come down a little bit. He's still a little concerned, but I am fine. I'm just tired today. Um, I lost three pounds in one month. I think it's a month. Well, for me, that's pretty good. Because we're going to start getting into, even though the weather is getting cooler and we might be hit or miss with the walking, but we're going to start getting into it. It is a park that we can take the dog, so we're going to start taking her and we're going to do more nature hike type things. And actually on my nature hike, I collected walnuts from the trees so they were on the ground and I just took my shirt and put a whole bunch of them in my shirt brought them home cleaned them up and they're sitting in my back room drying up and it takes about two weeks two to three weeks for them to dry up and then I will pop them open and then stick them in my freezer so that is that y'all and I'm going to get off of here because my dog needs to go take a toilet and she doesn't need to take it anywhere. She needs to go to the bathroom. I'm just trying to be funny and be tired at the same time. And then I'm going to get all this stuff put away. My husband has a ride home so I don't have to worry about picking him up. And I'm going to get a little something to eat, maybe some tomatoes. And then I'm going to lie down and take me a nap. So, until next time, peace, y'all. Have a good one. Be good to each other. Be kind to one another. This world is this world is going so fast, and everybody is just disappearing. And life is too short, too short for y'all to be mean and nasty to each other. So. Come on, y'all. Let's be kind to another. Peace.